Welcome to Linda's TV show. If it is your first time, you like the channel, you like the program, subscribe and put on your notification bell because it's going to help you to know when I upload Shit, my viewers, my subscribers, you guys are so amazing. Especially those who always tune in to watch me each time I upload a new video. It's very fact, but now that this generation has come, there is nothing anybody can do to stop us from restoring the kingdom of God upon the face of this very earth in the land of Biafra without apologies to anybody. I understand that the Sarikin, whatever, Sarikin Fulani of Lagos went to see the U.S. ambassador to Nigeria in Lagos a few days ago. And according to the message, or should I say information coming out of the U.S. mission, they said is to foster cohabitation and unity, that diversity is strength. And I want to lay that particular nonsensical narrative to bed tonight before I continue any further. Anybody telling you about strength and diversity, that person is a liar and a deceiver. And the U.S. ambassador is a liar and a deceiver. One thing they don't teach we Africans is this. No country exists on a foundation of multiculturalism that is no, nowhere in the world. Listen to me very carefully. All this nonsense, even the, the, the crap that Coca was coming up with, Telling you about diversity is our strength and all that rubbish. Allow me to repeat. There is no country on this earth that survives on a foundation or a bedrock of multiculturalism. It doesn't exist. That is why multiculturalism in Africa is dead on arrival. It can never work. Because we are tribal beasts by nature. We are tribal by nature. That is why we travel from wherever we are during New Year's, during Christmas, during Easter, during New Year Festival to go back home where we come from. Because that is where we identify with. Now, let me ask the U.S. Ambassador a very simple question. Is United States of America a multicultural society? U.S. that was created and built by Western Europeans. U.S. was created, should I say, created by God, of course. Built by Western Europeans mostly English people that was fed up with the way of life of the English monarchy. They went to America on Mary Rose. I want to ask the U.S. Ambassador, I want to teach Africans what they don't know this evening. There is no country that functions on this multi-ethnic rubbish. It, nowhere in the world, not even the USA, that was created by people who are not indigenous to America. The owners of the soil of America are Native American Indians. That is a fact of life. God gave America to Western Europe to develop and gave them a special grace to be the beacon and the light and the conscience of the world because God knew that if he had left all these wonderful people in Europe, they would become contaminated. He removed them from Europe, sent them to America, built a wonderful nation as a shining light and a beacon for the whole world to look up to. Even that America that was built from scratch by people who are not indigenous to the land is not multicultural. Why am I saying this? America was founded on the principles of Judeo-Christian, Greco-Roman democratic value systems. I repeat, America is not multicultural. They accommodate other races and other nations. Yes, they can accommodate you. But where you're coming into, the bedrock, the foundation of America is based on Judeo-Christian principles, Greco-Roman political ideology, which is republicanism. America is not multicultural. America is Western Europe. The value systems of Western Europe, Judeo-Christian, Greco-Roman republican governance. Had America been a multicultural society, they would have space for Sharia. I'm now addressing the U.S. ambassador to try to tell them to stop deceiving people. We are educated, we went to school for a reason. We are enlightened and we have our brain intact. There is no country on this earth that runs on this wishy-washy multiculturalism. It doesn't happen. What you have are established order and value systems upon which Various cultures can now coexist. If you go to America, 
you coexist under the provisions of the United States Constitution. And the U.S. Constitution is a Christian Constitution, not Islam. America is not multicultural. But under that bedrock of liberty and egalitarianism, you allow other cultures to come in. But first of all, they must wear allegiance to the or take an oath to uphold the constitution of the USA. That is something that the US ambassador never told the Janja with that went to visit her. The same way that Nigeria cannot function as a viable entity. Willa Shoenka knows what I'm talking about. I'm even sure somebody who claims he's learned as, as Bishop Coker is, understands what I'm talking about. No country on this earth. The value system of the state of Israel is based on Judaic principles. The value system of Russia is entirely theirs. It's based on theirs. It's a Russian way of doing things from time, from times of the Tsar. If you go to Saudi Arabia, it is essentially a Sharia Islamic state. You can live there, no, no problem. You can build your churches if you want. I think they have not to allow churches to be built. But it is never, never a multicultural society. Japan is not a multicultural society. China is not. They can accommodate you. But that doesn't mean they are multi. This, are, this is type of nonsense they feed Africans. And we fall for that very gimmick of multiculturalism. At the end of the day, you end up with a useless contraption like Nigeria. You don't have any value system that anybody anywhere can define. If I talk about the USA, I can talk about hamburger in the USA. We can talk about what else do they have in the USA? Hamburger, you can talk about. Um, What's it called? What are the traditional dishes? Um, apple pie and all the rest of it. You can say that these are American dishes. If you go to the UK, you can talk about maybe mashed potato and bangers and mash, which is sausage and mashed potato as their national meal. That's understandable. But I ask you, if you come to Nigeria, what is the national dish of Nigeria? Does a Fulani Janja with eat a fegusi, where we come from? Does an Igbo man eat a wedu soup? The answer is no. So on what basis is all this so-called multicultural foundation going to be laid upon? On what? We are not one people. We may be black, we may be Africans, but we're not one people. Not even one religion. If Britain cannot stay in an EU that is entirely Christian, EU is entirely Christian. Britain left. Nigeria, you don't know if Nigeria is Christian or in fact is Islamic. So for me to accept the multiculturalism being preached by the U.S. ambassador, I have to embrace Islam as my religion. That's what it means. And some of you get taken in by all this rubbish. And I feel sorry for you. Yeah, sometimes when I say they say I'm being very arrogant. If you are educated, you will understand that no nation is multicultural. They allow other cultures to come in. It doesn't mean they're multicultural. They have a viable space where multicultural ideas or identities can thrive. But the foundation has to be monolithic. It has to be one dominant value system and ideology. That's how it is all over the world. Don't let anybody fool you otherwise. That is the same reason why you have this, this, this anomaly. In a so-called, in a so-called republic, you have royal fathers in a republic. Because you are trying to shuffle multiculturalism. You are trying to marry the feudal system of the north, the monarchical system of the west, and the Republican um, system in the East to marry them into one. And what you have is entirely rubbish, and that is why Nigeria can never work. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. Competing value systems. Nobody wants their own value system to be subsumed under another person's value system. This is something that the U.S. Ambassador never told you. But here I am telling you today. Because if you come here, you become educated. If you come here, you become enlightened. If you come here, you stop being a zoo animal, you become a human being. That is why we are the largest and, of course, the most consistent broadcasting platform insofar as Africa is concerned, right across the world. Millions listen to us because they know we preach the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. That is why this very day, because you are in one Nigeria, in multiculturalism, the army will come to Olo to defend Fulani Janja with living in our forests. We went to Olo to defend our people. They came, they arrested the clerics. Men of God, they arrested all of them. How many times have you heard that imams were being arrested in the north? Or that villages were being invaded in the north? 
and the man's being arrested only in Biafra land. And this is your multiculturalism. This is a place where you want all of us to stay somehow to pretend that all is well when we know that it is not. In that same Nigeria is where Fulani headsmen openly boast about conquest. Benue State is one. That is why I feel sorry for the idiots talking rubbish from Benue. They came and they made the same bold claim on Edo State. And I quote, we will kill all policemen and take over Edo State. Vanguard publication of January 23, 2021, this year. Only two months ago. Nothing happened to them. Only the Fulanese can lay claim to land that doesn't belong to them and nobody will say anything. When you, when you try to respond, they come against you. And your average foolish Nigerian who cannot reason properly, you know, they're not educated very well, I'm sorry to say, will side with the oppressor. It's only in Nigeria where the victim becomes the accused. You came into all, hope was other tried to give you land in all, to build a Fulani settlement. And we said no to it. That's all. To talk about all crisis. And now they're trying to blame IPAB, they're trying to blame Eastern Security Network. But all of you are aware of the fact that Nigeria Army and Nigeria Police are essentially Fulani Janja with terrorists in uniform. They misopass all the articles everywhere. The political, the, the national discourse is replete with instances of Fulani being supplied by the military, as I'm going to, as you're going to listen to later on. But nothing happens when you try to fight back, you become the victim. And we are saying we are fed up of being victims. We can no longer be victims anymore. If you kill us, we'll kill you. I'm saying it live on video, so you can share the video all over the world if you want. If you come to our land to kill us, we'll kill you. As simple as that. It may take us some time, but eventually we'll overwhelm you. Well, in the end, we always win. As I warned them in Benue, we are in Benue. In all of our countries in Benue State, and we're not living there. Until we are certain that the lives and properties of our people there are firmly secured. Any day we learn to stop blaming the victims, this world will be a better place. I'm directing this very um, um, statement to the U.S. Ambassador, to the U.K. High Commissioner, to the EU presence in, in, the, in the zoo, and the U.N. as well. I know all of you will do nothing. We are not Muslims, so you're not going to help us. That, that's obvious. We know that for sure. But we have something that you do not have. We have the grace, the might, and protection of God Almighty in heaven. And we know that God exists. And as long as he liveth, as my name is in Namde, my Redeemer liveth, as long as God lives in heaven, all of you can never triumph against us. Ujiku said it before. And you said he failed. We know why he failed, because God said the time wasn't right. I want to show them, my children, what is called Biafra, that very kingdom. They have to fight their way into it. If that is the option you leave for us, then by all means, we'll oblige you. But Biafra must come, or we all die. It's as simple as that. There's no alternative. People must understand the rage that is boiling within us. You must understand how angry we are. We may look normal to you, but we are very, very angry, believe you me. And by the time we are done with Nigeria, the name won't exist. That I can assure you. You people are now beginning to see the type of madness that we are capable of unleashing. And more is coming. And I do not hide it because you hate us anyway. This conspiracy against Biafra for no reason we've done nothing wrong to anyone. But you despise us and you hate us. You want us to die because God gave us oil and gas. You won't take over our land. It's not going to happen. And we're not apologizing or begging anybody to please uh, read this letter. They are raping our women. They raped our women. Did you do anything about it? They went to the UK High Commissioner. They were telling them, oh, we can't do anything about it. R rape victims. But you're doing something about defending Fulani. You are defending Fulani. But rape victims in front of you cannot defend them. And you're neutral. And you want Nigeria to continue. So you want me to stay in a Nigeria we are my women will be raped every day nobody will do anything about it and i'll be clapping for you one nigeria i'll be clapping for you check it up no man people everywhere people are insane you want me to stay in a country where the fulani police and soldiers can come and take our women rape them anyhow they like 
even before they release them the charger do you know how much we have spent we have spent nearly nine million naira to secure the release of people who were abducted and raped victims of state crime britain didn't say anything u.n never uttered the word eu nothing u.s nothing i want me to be in that country i think some people are mad very very insane indeed if you do not believe in what we are doing then you better get out we're not going to stop god knows we can never stop until biafra is restored we are peace-loving people we have heard death and killing of another soul is in our nature that's how we are but because of that they have been calling coming and Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time or first day of coming across my YouTube channel or seeing my face, you are highly welcome. Please be coming to my next channel. My name is Linda Chukwezi. It comment as that says subscribe and you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be able to get information okay. on the bis zum nächsten video und einen schönen tag tschüss, tschüss. bis mein <laughs> subscribe to linda's tv show what are you waiting for click on that red button that says subscribe you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be getting more updates from me leave your, your comments down below and share this video with your friends families and colleagues until we meet again in my next video bye bye